It's low key. And I am, I say I am Mr. Super Facts. And these are five reasons why Nipsey Hussle might not have been as street smart as we thought he was. Now, I do want to say this before we even go any further. R.I.P. Neighborhood Nip. In no way, shape, or form is this a video talking down on, you know, the legend Nipsey Hussle. This is just clearly um, a critical breakdown. You know, addressing he laid out a blueprint for a lot of people to do the right thing, to to make legal money and also hold down their, you know, their own. Okay, so this is no way to slander this man or or talk down on this man. This is just a critical, you know, analysis so that the next person, the next Nipsey Hustle, the next neighborhood nip can at least, you know, do a couple of things to not, you know, put themselves in certain situations, okay? Not saying the outcome won't be the same. We live in the matrix. Who knows? We all know, you know? <laughs> we live in the fucking matrix. We all know. Nine times out of ten, you know, it's not going to end how we would want it to. But like I said, this is just, you know, a couple of things you can do to, you know, if you're the next Nipsey Hustle, there's a couple of things you can do to try to avoid certain situations. Okay. So with that, um, it's low key. I am Mrs. Superfax. Definitely hit that like button. If you are a newcomer, definitely subscribe to the channel. Okay. Every video that I make is a live video. So definitely hop up in the live chat. Um, you know, chime in, share your thoughts, views, opinions, all that. You know, also, this is a pro-truth, pro-objective, and pro-good character channel. So definitely, um, you know, put some respect on, on, on the honor we moving with over here, okay? So with that, let's get straight to it, okay? Reason number one. Reason number one. This is the first thing that came to mind for me personally. When you get to a certain status, you know... And my, and my, you know what? You don't even have to get to a certain status. My whole thing is do not mess with industry chicks. Do not, by no means, do not, as far as wifing a chick up, do not wife up industry chicks. You don't know their mentality. You don't know where they came from. Okay. And this is not, I'm not, you know, taking a shot at Lauren London, any case may be. Or any celebrity chicks. I'm going to just leave it there. But my information to my brothers out there. You know, and I don't even want to sit here and say, you know, if you're going to mess with them, you know, kind of be on something, be in and out like a Robbie. There's a lot of good, wholesome chicks out here. Yeah, it's hard to find them because, you know, they're all being programmed via social media, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever the case may be. To idolize, you know, these sluts, slut, cut, uh, slut culture, whore culture. But the the good girls are still out there. You just got to, you know, you got to take your time. But rule number one, don't settle down. Don't try to build a life with an industry chick. She doesn't, be, she'll never belong to you. She'll always belong to the industry. That's my personal opinion. Like I said, no shots at Lauren London or whatever the case may be. But me, I don't even, I wouldn't feel comfortable around people in the industry like that. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's rule number one. I think that's where you messed up. Now, um, like I said, we always come with receipts. Um, you can hop up in the description link. And I got some receipts to a couple of videos that can uh, support, you know, this claim. Um, there's a brother I listen to on YouTube. His name is, uh, children, uh, of it's real out here. Yeah. He, okay. So definitely check him out. His link, uh, to his YouTube channel will be in the description, but he provided a lot of symbology, a lot of evidence, a lot of history. He did a lot of research to enlighten people out there. Not only myself, but y'all. 
And anyone who gives a fuck about, you know, finding out anything that has to do with history and what this, what whatever this is, this realm, you know, whatever this is really is about, where we come from, what it's about, he 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 did all the work for you. So all you have to do is go check out this channel. Once again, it's uh children of uh it's real out here, Yahi, on YouTube. Go check it out. I mean, he has he has thousands of subscribers. A lot of people fuck with him, and his information. It's not no, you know, conspiracy theory shit. So definitely check him out. He provides a lot of information proving the fact that, you know, to the point that I'm trying to make, you need to leave these industry chicks alone because it could be, you know, I'm going to just leave it there. I'm going to just leave it there. You need to leave these industry chicks alone, okay? Reason number two, um, I would have to say is, you know, let's just keep it a whole buck. Nipsey Hussle was off his square. Nipsey Hussle got caught lacking. Okay, however you want to say it, wherever you're from, however you put it, wherever wherever you're from, Nipsey Hussle was caught lacking. He was off his square. Okay, if you're going to be a person of that status, of that stature, you have to be on point at all times, even when you don't feel like it. What you say, Loki? You have to be on point at all times. Even when you don't want to be, even when you feel like, man, it's all good. It, it's, it will never be all good once you get to a certain point. Okay, so from what the report was saying, you know, shout out DMX, Nipsey Hussle was slipping. Let's just keep it a buck. Um, but there's no way Nipsey Hussle shouldn't have had several bodyguards, especially if. You're, you know, over to them, to the people in LA. You a legend to them. You a living legend to them. If you're gonna post up outside, I don't care if it's your store or the, or the store next street, you know, the store next door. If you're gonna be posted up outside, you need, a, you need other sets of eyes watching your back. If you're gonna be interacting with your people, the only person, I, the perfect example, the only person I can really. Think of that's the perfect example was Floyd Mayweather. Every single time you see Floyd Mayweather, he's surrounded by a, a handful of bodyguards, big dudes. Some of them might be licensed to carry. They might not be. I'm not sure. But if nothing else, he has at least four or five or six more pairs of eyes to see what's going on around him, to see what he can't see. That's the point. Because even if Nipsey had a split second to take cover or run or hide or bob and weave a bullet, hit some Neo shit in the Matrix when them shots rang out, it would have helped. The smallest millisecond would have helped. And all that would have took was having, you know, some, some real security around you. I don't care if you're in your own backyard. If you are a living legend or you on your way to be that, you got to move like that. Okay? It, it's That's just it. Point blank period. Now, triple salute. We got Edwin Rivera in the chat. Triple salute. Welcome to the Low Key T family. Okay? Um, reason number three, like I said, going back to, uh, the symbolism. Okay. Now I, I, I separate the industry chicks from the symbolism. Okay. We already know when it comes to these industry chicks, these hoes ain't loyal. Okay. But we, for, we men, for some reason, we keep fucking around with them. We can't, I mean, you, we can help it, but at the same time, we can't help it. So you got to, I, I personally had to separate the two, you know, the difference between, you know, the industry chicks, stay away from them, and then the sim, uh, the symbolism. Like I said, going back to uh, the brother's video that I um, stumbled upon on YouTube, okay, he provides a lot of symbolism that reflects history and the from the colors to, I mean, it, it's amazing the research this guy did. So definitely hop up in the description, and you can you can literally hear the information for yourself. Okay, as far as you know, rituals or whatever the case may be. 
um, it's pretty much how do they say it? Uh, wash, rinse, and repeat when it comes to you know these people carrying out um, you know everything in plain sight. You know, and the reason why they're able to get away with it because the masses are just we're just ignorant to the symbolics, you know, to the symbolism. We're we're completely ignorant. <laughs> you know, and he says in the video that the craziest shit about it is, you know, the people around him could have been, you know, mocking him with certain pictures or certain you know, symbology. They could have been mocking him to his own face, but because he he Nipsey Hussle was incredibly um intelligent, but he could just that could have, you know, that side of the game. That part of the game, you know, it could have just escaped him. He could just not be familiar with that. That doesn't mean he's not an incredibly intelligent person. He got to where he was at by being incredibly intelligent, having um an outstanding amount of charisma and personality. But that's why it's so important when you look at companies, right? You have a lot of people like like you have a lot of people on, that run certain businesses or, or managers, whatever the case may be. They don't know everything. So they hire people. They hire people that know the things that they don't know. That's that's what a a super intelligent person does. Okay. And we're gonna get into you, we're gonna go a little bit deeper into that um for my last reason. But as far as the symbolism, definitely check out um the video, the link will be in the description. Okay, this is, we live in a physical realm, but it's, it's still, I feel like personally, it's an onslaught, it's an attack spiritually to, you know, to the people of this realm more than anything. Every, it's not, it's not, this is, I feel like this experience is meant to be a spiritual one, not a, not a physical one. You know what I'm saying? But that that's just my personal opinion. Um, reason number four. Nipsey Hussle signed that contract. Okay? Now, I'm not saying... Now look, it goes on to say um, Nipsey Hussle was making major uh, label moves with an independent spirit. Uh, the Crenshaw MC on why his new music deserves unlimited industry uh, resources and how he plans to stay in control of his career. Now I understand distribution, 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 awareness, awareness, awareness. You can have a million dollar, you can have a billion dollar product, but if nobody knows about it, if you if you don't have any reach, then it's not worth anything. You know what I'm saying? So I understand, but at the same time, I understand him, you know, trying to connect himself with um, a bigger entity as far as, you know, uh, a brand. But at the same time, you got to understand what, what comes with, you know, signing these contracts. If you're going to sign a contract, sign a contract to yourself. Be a boss at all times. Sign a contract to yourself. Now I'm not saying you you know I'm not saying that these artists or these influential people they can't get knocked off even if they're independent. I'm not saying that. I would never say that. But like I said, this is just simply just, you know, little things you can do to try to prevent certain situations. He was already, you know, Nipsey Hussle was known as a man of the people. He was respected by his people. For example, you have black billionaires out here, like Oprah. You think people really respect Oprah the way they respect Nipsey Hussle? And Nipsey Hussle wasn't even a billionaire. That's the point I'm trying to make. You got people, you got black people out here with money, people of the culture with money. But that respect is different. <laughs> the respect is different. So yes, this woman has, you know, a billion dollars in the bank. Um, but the level of respect when it came to Nipsey Hussle, he 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 was worth more. 
His respect was worth more. Okay, so when people come around and they hop up in the comment section and talk about, they make everything about money, money, money. Okay, this is the thing, bro. This is the thing, my weebalization. Shout out E40. Humans created money. Money didn't create humans, okay? So every every human being you encounter, that's the energy, you know, and type of time you need to be on. That's the, that's the information you need to remember, man. Okay. Um, let me just wrap up this point. It says uh, Nipsey Hussle is expanding his vision in 2010 after surviving two uh, rocky record deals. The uh, entrepreneurial Los Angeles rapper founded a label of his own, All Money In. The enterprise was the home for his memor uh, memorable 2013 album Crenshaw. Uh, which Nip uh, which Nipsey successfully sold 1,000 copies um, of for $100 each. Okay, the innovative and self-driven approach gained him respect and support of an artist CEO. Since then, he's been steadfast in his uh, in his plan to craft an empire on his own terms through endeavors like this community-inspired marathon clothing brand. On Monday, Nipsey announced. Um, that after building leverage as an independent artist for most of his career, he's partnering with All Money In Imprint with Atlantic Records to propel his forthcoming album, Victory Lap, okay? So like I said, I, I don't feel like, you know, I'm not saying if you stay independent and you become extremely successful as a black rapper, you won't get knocked off. But I'm just saying if, if you stay independent, let, let, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. But I understand you got it. You know you need you need the bag to 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 make the, to make your personal independent brand bigger. You damn near in a lose lose. But it'd be different if you had an Oprah or however many black billionaires there are out there that back their own people. I said we got you. It'd be different. But that you know that's just my opinion. Um. Triple salute, heist heisty on the check in. Welcome to the Loki T family, and we got City Girl on the check in. Triple salute. Um, heist heisty says, I heard the Nipsey situation was a hoax. Um, crisis actors, look at his best friend on the video, it's been exposed. Yeah, who cowboy? <laughs> you talking about cowboy? <laughs> yeah, that it, real spooky. Real spooky shit. That's all. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. Um, City Girl says it's not a hoax. He's really gone. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on. But I will remain open-minded. But uh, at the end of the day, if Nipsey Hussle uh, really is dead, um, which I believe he is, then it, it, the fact of the matter is Nipsey Hussle should not be dead. Period. I mean, this is one of the last people. Who would have thought that day? I mean, I remember. I think I was just sitting, you know, sitting on my couch, just doing some bullshit. And then I got a message. Uh, I don't know if it was YouTube or Twitter, but it said Nipsey Hussle um, got shot six times. And I thought it was a hoax because you already know how the internet play. Every other day they're saying R.I.P. to you know a rapper or entertainer, whatever the case may be, right? There's even websites dedicated to fake, you know, stories about people dying. I mean, that just shows you where we are as humanity. But when it came out that he really passed away, it was just like, wow, out of all the people out here, let's just keep it a buck. Out of all the people out here that ain't doing shit for their community, that ain't worth shit, that's a cancer to every environment they're in, you take a good person away from us? And honestly, you know, this is low key T's opinion. In my personal opinion, every every self proclaimed gangster, because you already, you know what I mean, who, who sits up here and and and, and the, you know, how many times does the street, you know, make a, you know, claim a gangster or or a pl put a gangster up, get nominate a gangster unanimously? God damn, I can't even talk. 
how many times does the streets nominate a, a gangster unanimously on some Steph Curry shit? You know, two years in a row and this shit. So a lot of these gangsters are self-proclaimed. And I and 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 my whole point that I'm trying to make is if you are a self-proclaimed gangster in the streets of LA, your gangster hood pass, whatever, has been revoked. You had one job, protect Nipsey Hustle. Not one shot was fired in the defense of this man that, that his actions proved he wanted to help his people. Not one shot was fired back. And that's that's a disgrace. That's just a super fact. That's a disgrace. The fact that not one single shot was fired as somebody that just walked up and clipped a living legend in your neighborhood. Point blank period. So as far as you know, as far as I'm at with it, you know, there are no gangsters in LA. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Say what you want, feel how you feel. Um and then you know, for the for the last reason, reason number five, um, I'm gonna have to go with Nipsey Hustle, you know. He should have surrounded himself with spiritualists or higher elevated people or psychics or whatever of that nature. Okay. I personally feel like the people that, you know, are in control of this planet or whatever the case may be, the the, the elite or whatever you want to call them, the people that are in control of the power structure, they utilize every asset and every resource available to them there and, and like i said this is a physical realm but it's a lot of spiritual you know awareness and information you need to gather in your time here and there's a lot of people out there in my opinion that have special gifts uh whether it be insight or whatever the case may be like my good friend my good friend John Hardy, uh, he's an astro enlightenment coach. The man studies the stars and can literally tell you more about your life than you know yourself. And I feel like when you get to a certain situation, like I said, you got to start utilizing assets and resources that the people at the top use. Okay. You know, so quick plug, check out, you know, my brother, John Hardy, uh, now.com. The link will be in the description. Okay. Like I said, I got receipts for everything we talk about over here. But like I said, the first time I talked to John Hardy, he told me more about my son. It was like, I'm like, how you know that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The dude was telling me about myself. Okay. Once again, he's an astro enlightenment coach. Like I said, so I just feel like, you know, you know, just for just for an example, this man was telling me, "Oh, you might want to not mess around with chicks, you know, this month because it's it's uh it's it's in the stars that you could potentially get a chick pregnant." And and uh, you know, he even told me down to the month, and I was like, "Oh shit!" So I literally I fell back, low key T fell back. I was like, "I don't want no smoke. I don't, I'm not ready for a kid." I fell back. I took his advice and. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I reap the benefits of taking this man's advice that had a certain tyrant. That had a certain, you know, enlightenment, a certain skill, you know what I'm saying? Uh, spiritually, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely feel like when you get to a certain level, you have to utilize the same exact resources, max them out. The same, the same um, resources that, you, you know, the elites use. You don't think... That the people behind the curtains that run this that run this planet, you don't think that they have spiritualists and psychics around them? <laughs> you know what I mean? And people that people that are spiritual, like so spiritually in tune, they can't, you know what I mean? Predict certain things or 
whatever the case may be. You don't think they're surrounded by people that read the stars and know, know a crazy amount of history? So it's nothing for that. If 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 a nigga on YouTube like me could reach out and surround surround myself with people that are super intelligent when it comes to you know spiritual matters and, and whatnot, then then somebody of uh, Nipsey Hussle's you know magnitude could that. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. You know what I'm saying? Um, not saying that you know everything that these spiritualists are gonna say is 100 percent right, but like I said. It comes back to being on your pivot at all times. At all times. There's no excuse. When you sign up for that lifestyle, when you say, I want to be in the public eye. I want to be famous. I want to be rich. I want to have, but more importantly, I want to have the responsibility. I take pride in having the responsibility of putting my people on, of giving back to my community, of making a change and a shift in this matrix we live in. Okay? Because it only takes one person. When you when you set out to do that, make that change. You got to be on on your point at all times. There's no excuse. There's no exceptions. Point blank. Period. Um, so definitely check out johnhardynow.com. The link will be in the description. Um, and yeah, that's it. Those are my five reasons why uh, Nipsey Hussle might not have been as street smart. As we thought he was, like I said once again, this is I'm not talking down on this man. You know, I love everything Nipsey Hussle uh, represented and stood for. You know, I hope I'm not going to speak for y'all, but I hope one day I can do as much for you know my community and the people I care about as as Nipsey Hussle did. You know what I'm saying? And even you know, and and another thing I was thinking about, like I, I was really thinking about what would Nipsey Hussle say? Like, what do you think? Nipsey Hussle would say like about this situation. I feel like he he this is the last thing he you know wanted for himself. I'm not gonna sit here and say he saw that he he didn't see this coming. You know what I mean? It could have been a situation where Nipsey Hussle felt like, you know what, I could get clipped at any time. I'm not gonna sit here and and, and say he didn't see it coming. But I, I just think about, I wonder what he would say about this situation. If he if he could speak on his own death, like what would he what would he say about this situation? You know what I mean? <laughs> you said play the Tupac host video. Uh unfortunately I can't play any videos up on here. Um, because I'll get um I'll get uh, uh flagged. I'll get flagged, bro. But like I said, I appreciate the kings and queens in the chat, man. Triple salute to y'all. Um, let me see if I got any more notes before I slide up out of here. Uh, just pretty much, yeah. Like I said, his actions show he loved his people, man. And it's it's real it's real rare to find that. Like I said, a lot of people talk, 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 but it's real rare to find people that utilize their actions and resources and whatever the case, their talents, their abilities to show with doing. To show their people that they love you. You know what I'm saying? Those are people I, I'd rather surround myself by. People that show me you love me. You know what I'm saying? Show me you love me. This, I was going to say pause, but fuck it. This grown man shit. Show me, show me you love me while I'm here. You feel me? Vice versa. Um, you know, and, and, and just to sum it up, you know, he's he's a blueprint. Um. So now, if if you're gonna be the next Nipsey Hustle, you cannot make these mistakes. Period. Period. You cannot make these mistakes. Okay. Um, so, like I said, stay away from industry chicks. Always stay on your square. Watch out for the symbolism. Um, if you don't sign no contracts, never sign a contract. If you're gonna sign a contract, sign a contract to yourself. And surround yourself with spiritualists, higher elevated people, psychics, so on and so forth. These are all pretty much exercises, if nothing else. These are pretty much exercises to keep you in a positive space and a productive space, so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, so yeah, I just feel like these were five critical mistakes that Nipsey Hussle made. Um, that might have proved he was not as street smart as we thought he was. Um, but like I said, no disrespect to Nipsey Hussle. I love Nipsey Hussle. And just remember, don't make these mistakes if you will be the next Nipsey Hussle, okay? So with that, um, I love y'all. I respect y'all. Definitely hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Um, if you're a newcomer, definitely hop up in the live chat, man. All my videos are a live video, so definitely chime in. Um, you know, we already know it's a pro true, pro um objective and pro good character channel. I take pride in, you know, creating an atmosphere where people can be open minded. Okay. There's there's no time to be closed minded. You're only here for a certain amount of time. So why be closed minded, right? Um, definitely hop over to the Mr. Superfact store. Uh the link will be in the description. I repeat, the link to the Mr. Superfact store will be in the description. Like I said, man, this is this is my version of Marathon Clothing, okay? And also hop over to Marathon Clothing. Support Nipsey Hussle. Support his family. Support his children. Support his legacy. So definitely hop over to Marathon Clothing as well. Um, support your own. Support the people that show you they support you. You know what I'm saying? And with that, it's low key. And I am, I say I am Mr. Super Facts. I'm going to see you on the next one.